All right, I'm Val. I'm Rusko. And uh, we're about to watch The Expedition and uh, kind of talk about behind the scenes stuff. So uh, if you're ready. Let's see where the dice take us. Let's see where, let's just roll the bones. Roll the bones. <laughs> Welcome back to Die Inspired. We've already met the, the crew of the flagship. Yeah, this is the one. Wandering so... But we have so we started jumping it up. If you can see at the very straight. beginning, this intro, we'll we're like, okay, what can we do? Sleep. How can we push this? Safe. I love this. That's my Welcome favorite shot of the whole first part. Oh, that's such a cool shot. Well, the sound, absolutely. A gust of wind catches the sail above your head. If we, if we, if we had done it each time, mast. it wouldn't have been that cool. Right, that Derek, one time, yeah, it was cool. Ranger? That was, like my brother you know, Gamma Blast really came through, through, through on a lot of stuff we're, we're looking at Basically, going. You, you offer a hand like, these are the visions we have, and then we, we kind of I give the check stuff the that we recorded off. to them, and they just ran with it. Above and beyond. Well, above well, and beyond okay, what we so explained. So well, we first explained, they're like, what? Okay. No, what are you, Tim Tim's more? Yeah, what are you talking about? You kind of want this, this, this. There's Beetle. coward. My name is James. He does all four captains. So no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He only does three. Oh yeah, he does three. You're right. He does three. Yeah, because Captain yeah, Harris is my wife. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, and that accent in, in Captain Harris's voice is real. That it's is, real. <laughs> it's not she a, is from the hollers of Kentucky. She's, she's not faking that accent. And we're like, you know what? Uh, a lot of times in, in TTRPG and fantasy, people go for the the English accent or the Irish accent. Yeah. And we're like, you know, why don't we have just a freaking red country, a country bell, red Southern bell, yeah, Southern bell, Captain Harris, mm -hmm. the hollers of Kentucky. Uh, something that I really liked about Where this episode, the nearest lifeboat to me, uh, you are way Vilkus. Way one of the things that he did was. Here. And one here. He really he will, uh, I guess, found our backstory. Oh, he dove deep. Yeah. So we wrote about all the gods. So we have like OC and Oblet. We have the yeah, whole pantheon on the, on our website. You can read how the world Orn was created, the whole shebang of And uh, he, a lot, a lot of people dove into that. A lot of people. More than I thought we're going to. Way more. Because some of the backstories I read, uh, Drake had a good backstory. Yep. And some people really played into the world that we were trying to build. It was kind of, it was, it was neat, really. It was like, <clears throat> wow, these people care about it. But yeah. they, you could tell they cared about their characters. I didn't read any of the backstories until after a lot of them were murdered brutally and viciously. And, uh, <laughs> well, we didn't have time. Seem, seamingless. Yeah, we didn't have time. Before, senselessly. So I didn't get to read a lot of their backstories until after they were dead and then... You know, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Friar Winterborn. <laughs> I love that cat. I was so it was like after they were already dead. Then I connected to their character and then felt guilty all over again. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. I mean, we we had a vet. We had a vet quick. Right. I mean, it's it's like the main sale. Yes, they sent us bits and pieces of what they were email wise, but we had stations set up in the game keep. So you like you walk in right at the front desk. I think Samantha was handling the front desk. Yeah, it was like, what's your email? What's your name? Okay, you're on this boat on this list. That's right. And then you handed your character sheet off to Ron and Brandy. Who just started checking the numbers. Yeah. This makes... Someone needs to report to the door of That's Breslin's beautiful. treachery. Of treachery, not treachery. Uh, so yeah, they, they vetted it. Like, looked at numbers. Boom, 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 boom. Made it legit. Passing through. But they're doing, but they're doing so many. There was a lot of things that, that got through. I remember going, like... Going back afterwards, I'm like, swing a did you door spot door the horse? Okay, so give me like, a, well, yeah, but, check to I mean, it's in the rules. Yeah, I know, 100%. Uh, they just made sure the rules were legit so everyone had to find a chance. 12, but even afterwards, 12, so after the hit. first round, give me damage. I went through all the people who survived Six, the first one. round. Okay, so you I went through with a fine tooth comb, and I found errors on a whole bunch of character sheets. Little tiny things, ones that, that didn't really affect the gameplay or... Or taking the lower there was never like one it error. would have reversed it going like oh the Don't whole game well redo yeah nothing like, like that no. it was yeah, small things like somebody had an extra here, skill uh, hey, hey. for some yeah, reason a lot of people uh, kind of attempt to untie one of the ropes for lack of a better term it's kind of screwed point. themselves like they so now yeah they were under yeah they, like they're the they had their point by system wrong and they were their their stats were lower than what they should have been i only had like one 
I had a red. Donut shop. No, I'm listening. I only had one. It's donut shop. It's the I donut go, shop. It's it was a real Aldi. donut shop. I still haven't been there. No, we need to go. I'm looking for something loose made of wood. Yeah, you've got some empty barrels around here. These are crates that are tied down. Try and tie some of these barrels to the boat so we can take more people. Love it. So I'm going to grab accent. one of those barrels. Yeah, anyways, so they went to the vet. You went to, okay, so after that, before you went to the five tooth combs, so you about this. Bring it over then they'd the go boat. meet your wife. So, o Olin, can you help in me with this? In, the, in a closet. Yeah. <laughs> that we had set up where the interview was. Um, I'm and that, like um, this interview here, this is Gust. in a closet. This is, is in a storage closet. And runaway. there's a um, dice tray to roll for initiative. Mm -hmm. So everyone that came in, if you, if you notice, get everyone has a, 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 lanyard, a red lanyard around. They get their lanyard. She wrote, uh, your wife wrote their name on the spot. Or did they get their lanyard before they went in there? No, I think they filled up the lanyards in that room. In that room. Got your lanyard, got your, the dark your placard, your place marker. Yep. And then she went. And then started the interview. Had the camera going. Yeah. Boom. A quick look around to like, see what's your name? You know, what's your character's book? name? Okay. Well, yeah, what's your character's name? Playing. Playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something Perfect. interesting about yourself. And then, and then they walk out and plus, wait, sorry. around the whole entire plus, table was a dice tray for everybody. We had a little goodie uh, bag where they got a ten dollar gift card to the key pencil. Pencil. Yeah. Uh, some pins. And some yeah. D20s. And D20s. Yeah. Safe to assume that the just the was trying just to little nifty gifty. How easy yeah. And uh, something to show that we care. And then and then, then we kill them. And then yeah. And then we kill them. And, and the most exciting thing is right after that we're like and there's food out back. <laughs> and everyone just would just like walk out. Sit their stuff down and just go right out back. I'm like, oh, there's cookies okay, and donuts and yeah. Um, I mean, we were we were on par, sodas. man. We so had sodas and we're on yes. par, dude. Uh, breakfast, we had breakfast. Game. Seven. So you try lunch, we had lunch. Barrel, dinner time, we'd order dinner. Hand rail. I was and talking to Brandon up, from kick, from Grizzly Master about about tumbling up underneath you. Putting these games together. And he said, man, I was so impressed when I walked in. I was like, is this a Hollywood thing? This production is on point. We didn't know what we were doing. No. We got all our stuff from Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> it says here we can get some cameras. You can you can kind of tell in this shot, but how tall he is? He's he walks up and goes, "Hi, I'm playing so and so." Yeah. Holy cow! He was tall, boy. Six eight, six ten. Uh, I, There's not enough room in the boat. It hurt my neck to look all the way to the top. And you're tall, and I'm six one. Drag them on the boats. Everyone can be saved. Get some smart choices. Get your ropes, sailors. Unfortunately, to the boats. I am going to use my you know, own barrel. Uh, unfortunately, there's only before. two ways off the boat. My character does not carry well, a backpack. Two ways, or a very, a very, or half very, very creative. Over the, over yeah, or half in a barrel. Backpack fills up with water. For those who don't know, the they didn't see one. The Basically, it was down. a scenario right. where we're getting together, <laughs> and I was like, "Well, <laughs> when we're running variables for the show, it's like, hey." Uh, what if someone says I'm a halfling? I'm gonna get in a barrel and just jump overboard with it sealed. Be at 325, like, a, we, yeah, I we guess he would eventually hit the island. So. Right. Yeah, we, we were working in possible the possibility, the, the possibility of somebody coming up with something so clever that we couldn't deny them. Yeah, no, he's still We didn't want to take away agents. He came with something creative. We wanted to use it. But for the most part, it was like the lifeboats. Here it is. Do it or not. It's an NPC. From a little bit of the story standpoint. This ship yeah, been, is actually so, Cap uh, gonna Captain gonna Appleton. Torch. I'm going to cast Bo. Druidcraft. Yeah, this expedition. Like torch, it's Captain Appleton, uh, small campfire which is my favorite captain. Okay. Why was he your favorite? Because of his backstory, You're which we'll get out uh, sooner or later. I love like, I like Steve. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say okay. Steve Harris, so, Evelyn Harris. The strangest medicine uh, check. Just as a little bit of everything. I'm going to just drop the bomb right now. I'm a huge Iron Maiden fan. Jerk. And so whenever we're riding together, I do everything I can to slip something Iron Maiden into everything. So if you look, and, and first, I mean, you don't even have to look very deep. It's, it's like right in people's faces. Um, it's annoying. But he's kind of figured out my shtick, so now I've got to get really creative with it. I'm like, hey, what about this? It's like, I like that idea. Let me well, now it's just turned into a situation though, where I have to deny every idea you have. <laughs> You're like, let me let me so, back for a second. He lets out. All right, I googled I googled Iron Maiden or whatever you just said a bunch of times and nothing came up. up so yeah, we can use it. <laughs> and then he just passes out, bumps up.
But you were. He actually made me take all my Iron Maiden stuff down off the walls before you filmed this. Spurting out of the bottom of his leg. I'm not that. That's not true. No, that's not true. All my Iron Maiden rooms are the other room. By the way, I have an owl. He's a familiar. All right, so this is another thing we had to work with. It's familiars. Like, what are we going to do with people's familiars? So. <laughs> we had a plan oh, to nonetheless, print models going to for every single character, and we did. We have different poses so printed and painted for every character. Mm -hmm. um, took the forever. Throw, yes, took forever. And uh, I mean, dude, it's 500. It'll be 500 pieces by the time it's all done. It, yeah, just, I think, I think I was doing the math. It's going to be somewhere around 475 total poses when it's all done yeah so but here's the thing rum, so there's programs you could mod you can that, you can sure you've got your, uh, pose you know, yes. certain yes. things now you got to get creative with it because they don't have it's not like free you know okay, so give me free will you can just uh, do whatever you want but you get creative with kind of like this is what he's trying to do he's kneeling here he's crying here there's a big scene here but then you drop familiars in there's not a lot of programs that add that so then we have to think outside the box and like all right how do we how do we give this guy an hour or how do we do this I, I, you know you know creatures that they meet once they get to the islands like how are we going to do this it's like we got to make these things from scratch you know get get creative with where we got them from i've been to michael's a thousand times i'm looking at you they know me at Hobby Lobby. i bet they do i mean that, Oh, I right. loved. Well, at least a lot of people didn't problem. like uh, when Jim did Mickey Could Mouse because that was just his voice. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. From behind, scenes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, from behind the scenes, yeah, yeah. From behind the scenes, I knew when he was I'm playing. A bard uh, used to be a soldier. I hit people with my warhammer. Ropes snap and the sail above your Straight head to the comes point. free. I hit people with my warhammer. Oh, he probably said a lot more though too. Yeah, to the, uh, the That's the thing we had. To, uh, we had to edit, uh, which is really sad. Yeah, we had to edit. Feel stories. So much good stuff. We had to. Uh, try to. Are there still ropes? We will release an unedited version. To, it, it's going to be like it. a seven yeah. disc yeah. set. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, <laughs> the nine hundred uh, hours box set, a nine inspired box set. Dex. They open it up and nothing redacted. All the cursing and swearing. Eighteen. They open up. It's just a mimic. It eats him. Seamus O'Malley. Seamus. Born in in the mountains. Both of his parents were. Dead in character. He was found by a storm giant and raised. Became a black it's just set. fun when they stay. Uh, See, stumbled into a large mirror. Some traveling. of his backstory is made, mm -hmm. which I thought was really interesting. He he praised the Odin. To, uh, <laughs> in our Odin? game, in our world, he's praised the Odin because he's not from our world. He's yeah. here. had a whole backstory how he got there. I see thunder. I always was curious. Is that, that flask is I've never been on a boat there before. every time. I don't know. Is this normal? What's that? But this seems really messed up. Oh, that flask. Sure a good idea. I was always wondering I if that was filled with water. water. Run over, put oh, yeah. We said no drinking at the game. Next to the boat. I'm pulling no, up my didn't. sword as no, I'm coming didn't. up to the boat. <laughs> and I'm trying not to hurt him. But I'm going to aim for one of the ropes with my long sword. All right. And, roll uh, hit. Yeah. Roll a hit. And back to the ropes. 16 hits. Yeah, those ropes. Yeah, roll, Do you need to know how much damage? Didn't somebody say, I think we've... Okay, it was Elto. Five damage to Didn't Elto say something along the lines of, I think we've all Boat concluded that the, wow. the well, our, our greatest the enemy live. right now can is I, these ropes. The yeah. You can get in the boat. That'll make and then get the boat off they realized the that ropes actually weren't killing anyway. And people be, started killing people. It will be funny. Uh, okay. I get in the boat. I, I fall into the boat. See, head it's the passive. It's where Seamus falls is, yeah. into okay. the boat for the <laughs> so first time so you're in the boat. with his butt up in the air. <laughs> with naked booty. But it starts the It starts with the passive aggressiveness. Mega, mega it's like, <laughs> you know, get out the boat. I thought we were supposed to get in the boat. Yeah. And then it's like, hmm. Uh, rolled a nine. That'd be an eight. Nobody's impressed as you're killed. <laughs> it's dark though, so yeah. maybe you'll <coughs> Don't you have a model <laughs> of Seamus? Yeah, with his bare butt. Seamus. With his bare butt, he's just standing there with his bare butt out. <laughs> they got put on the back burner like so many other things. Oh, don't you have like a full scale oh, yeah, model of him? Yeah, it's like five inches tall. Uh, <laughs> and I am a fighter. How long have you been playing role playing games? Oh, uh, roughly like three years. Yeah, I loved his, awesome. his interview, his mm -hmm. player interview. I'm standing here. He was an actual wrestler. See my face. What was it? What was it called? Nasty Nate? I can't remember. Something like that. I watched it. I watched the video. It was awesome, dude. He was an actual wrestler. That's what he was trying to do. He was getting into that. If, if, as a free action, could he's a built guy. I could. I would watch him beat you up. Hey, well, he didn't have to be built to beat me up. I rode rap. 
but he's manipulation he's, to pick up the rope. It's free. Yeah, it's all charismatic with wrestling. <laughs> I, I crit failed. I crit failed with manipulation. Oh, you don't roll manipulation. You, you, okay. you manipulation. You I feel like this boat, <coughs> compared to the first one, we got into <laughs> the. We got into the entertaining so part of the so as you move to of the show pick up much quicker. Rope, Maybe that was me because I, I was a little less nervous. Just but because I feel like it's a it's a crit fail. Uh, it didn't take nearly as long to get butt. into okay. the. The group the group interacting. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Well, together. Well, we had just got done. This was the same Saturday. We did two boats a day. So on this Saturday, we were we were already halfway through the day. We started this session what four thirty ish. Four thirty ish. Yeah. And and as the other group was walking out, they these cats were walking. They were already kind of waiting. So I think that might have helped. There was a little less anxiety for them because we were all laughing. Everybody was having a good time. Yeah. yeah. The closest dinghy. But the people that died had already left. <laughs> so people were laughing. They were the ones that yeah. lived. So the first group kind of had a had a little bit of a disadvantage because they didn't, they weren't privy to the information that not everybody survives. What do you do? This group caught some people walking out. Hans is going to start. And you. they were already kind of aware that not again. Oh God, somebody, what have I done to deserve some were going to die. Oh yeah. He is going to. Well, that's the thing too about this, right? So, but it didn't change how it started either. It didn't. No, it didn't so change. I can how it grab the rope at one. I, I think it's innate. So no, here's the thing. Number two, and I will when we go, when we do season like two, on my way I guarantee you, nope, there's going to be people so like me who would just start slaughtering off the, the bat. Now you're at the dinghy. Okay. Uh, just for the record, I am a game ruiner. Yeah, he is. He does. He doesn't like it. If an NPC tonight, comes up to me, I like killing them. They start to give me information. And I kill them. It's less stressful running a game for eighty people than it is running one game for about. Well, my whole premise is I like my character going kind of insane as he travels. Uh, it's supposed to be fantasy, so I get crazier and crazier and crazier. Until so I will also yell to until I, so all of his characters are playing himself. So we can get those last of the until last until of the I'm asked to leave the so table. Sorry, sir. You, you're, you're gonna have to leave. Yeah, you're out. Correct. You're out of our little D and D game. But I believe that the season two people will come swing. This is the Michael Bay special effect department, by the way. Uh, I'll check those equips. It depends on I think how the only we set it up. Have a roll off. Oh yes. By the time Can season one, season one is, is over, gonna be they're not going to know exactly to what to do. I think. No, we will. Go. It'll be very tricky. Oh yeah. But we I think there will be like people. To charge him. You know how there are people on, uh, like America's Got Talent or whatever, that Left know off, they don't have any talent. They just come just to be yeah. just to get up there and yeah, get rejected. Uh, I think and, uh, there will be somebody. Drag the boat that will come and go like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill as many people as I possibly can until someone kills me. Cause chaos. I thought we're supposed to be in the boat, so whenever it goes down, we don't die. I'm gonna start. Oh gosh. That netting out to rope more barrels together. Seamus writes himself vertically and tries to. Some people couldn't let go of the idea that. I'm gonna create rafts. There has to be a way to survive. No matter what, like there has to, to be a way. The they wouldn't just kill us like this. But you said yes, we're going to. Water, you so said we open the we open the so premise you know, of every game. When you said it, it was a, uh, here is the deal. So I'm wondering if I you have ten rounds, rounds this boat will be underwater. If you're was, on the uh, boat when it goes down, you're dead. If you jump overboard into the water, you're dead. And yes, for the record, for the TTRBG. Both crazies out there there is a there is a there was a dice check that in the water yes they could have tried to swim no they could not have hit the, no. the dice check no it was a it was turbulent <clears throat> it was storm waves it was it was storm waves yeah. and it was it was almost like the ocean was alive not in a Seventeen. Uh, so sentient being sense. Boat. Yeah, not as in it was. I want to move up to the. It was the railing over there. And it had its own motivations. It was brutal. I can't give you the, those details because those details are still to come. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we pointed that out in the episode. I tell you what, it's not. It's not a kraken. <laughs> it's not a kraken. It's uh, it's not Sahu again. And Although we did play the Sahuga, I liked the Sahuga. Yeah. Sahuga, the Sahuga was good. Idea. They're called okay. sea devils. Okay. Yeah, Have but at, at the very beginning, we didn't know what was going to happen. No. So we're like, dude, do we really want 
to put Sea Devils as well. against <laughs> these players that we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. How they're going to uh, react. My athletics is four. How my many Sea Devils five, will kill? So. How many of them? Man, will it be a party white? Or will it be you know, a non-starter? Yeah, I want to. There was so many part. variables <laughs> in putting Since against I'm something at the very beginning. Yeah. That until we got our our feet wet. We, we wanted to, to kind of guide a path 15. without okay, taking the so agency you, away. We guided a path of life. Once okay, again. you know, free will, you all got on this boat to take Face a job. First and foremost, so Seamus' butt again. Oh, his butt, but it was his butt, but his butt, bare ass. But another part, part of that, though, was in it. we and we Shane, both Shane, agreed Shane, that we wanted that that interesting social question of, of in a life or death situation no how do you decide which among you gets to survive the worst 100 it was and a social sea devils, experiment for sure the sea devils so gonna weren't going to gonna uh, provide that for us so we the grappled rope although i like the sea devil idea we got off that idea pretty quick because it uh, wasn't that's, uh, athletic it wasn't going to give us nine the, is a fail what we wanted for the look of our show we wanted it them sorting it out, not us rolling monsters against the, 100%. The, the characters As and the players. The and we wanted to keep people guessing too. That's why it wasn't a Kraken. Like we wanted the people to go like, all right, I mean, because there were people I'm casting. Uh, you will die a coward's death, you coward. <laughs> no more space in the boat. Uh, yeah, that uh, wasn't. Yeah, it, yeah. Right. you'll die a coward's death, you coward. Right. Totally unscripted. Very inspired, so I died. Well, that's not true. He was very inspired. I was inspired. I was inspired by him. This is where they all jump, start jumping into people's boats. Mm -hmm. I will admit, we we talked about what would happen in the in the situation, but I didn't have the me mechanics of how this would get play out worked out to the detail in which I should have for the fact that it happened so many times. 100%. But you, I mean, there were so many times in this that we had to go on the fly anyways. There were so many times you would look at me wide-eyed like, yeah, just wing it. There were so many times you look at me wide-eyed going like, <laughs> and what would you do? And then leave. Yeah, and then leave. Go smoke. Go figure it out. Yeah, he'll get it. Your confidence in me is... Uh, and lands with the so, I mean, what's the worst going to happen? The people are already here. They, they're fed. They're full. The dinghy. <laughs> yeah, they got their gift card. They got a gift card. I'm like, this game sucks. I'm out. Four. And there's three people here. But uh, we were two, really surprised. Four. People kept coming back. It might have been for the food. You can try. I'm you know, ready. We yeah, had, we had free lunch on Saturday. So you'll get a D4 on that roll. I like it. Even in this situation, they're helping each other. No, that kind of, that baffled me. Even even when it was, it's, it's you or me. People are still trying to help each other. Well, yeah, one hundred percent. They're gonna try and jump. Wonder if it was like a I want to see who's gonna be on my side thing. Maybe. But that didn't happen on every boat, though. So that, that no. triggers a couple of them. The, real, the, the crazy thing for me that I didn't think was going to happen at all Nine. is anybody was going to go down with the ship. So you I never thought that also, was going to happen. No. Now, it was the question that we Gracefully. had. If someone had a paladin, Kick your feet over the railing. would they play their character and you to down that sense true of, lawful of good hero you know, women and children first? For you. I'll go One down with the ship. I'll save as many people as I can. I'm the hero. I'll go down. Roll off. I was, I was like, maybe that will happen. Who stays in? That didn't happen. It didn't happen. I think Paladin's got on the boat. 18. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't expect anyone to go down with the ship. Uh, but it was, it was amazing that when the ship Norman, was, when, when people started realizing, like, yo, those are, that was our way out. That was it. Mm -hmm. We missed our way off. So we what, missed the boat. Yeah, we missed the boat. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is start firing <laughs> arrows or hacking down you know when the masts yeah the deck, you know the boat just starts to shake and rock yeah i didn't expect the revenge <laughs> murder i mean the just revenge kind of like all right mess on them the let's just, just if i'm not if i'm going so down i don't want to die you. i'm going to take these players out if my day is ruined it's over i'm going to take this he reaches he reaches for you as he just kind of starts falling back out of the boat and he just has this look in his eyes disappointed is that torment yeah yeah i never felt worse about my life oh for flip as i die I yell to you, say, Listen. don't die, or I died in vain. <laughs> that was tough, Tormund. <laughs> yeah. There was some... He knew the backstory, too. Mm -hmm. You've already got a kill under your belt. Because he said it earlier, right. he said by OC, uh, he said something okay. about OC, Boy. I do believe. What's going to take the last, since he's been trying to uh, find the book, 
hopefully finds the book this and I direct him with my mind. Little less troublesome than the horse. The boat. What the owl? Oh, there was no one with a horse on this. Uh, no, I'm saying the owl familiar. Because I mean, I played with familiars before, but the, a horse on the, the water. boat right. thing was uh, threw me off. I like these shots so where there's I'm guys on the balconies and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, boat, we even did we did a separate. It was on the um. Our only hope is making a raft. We wouldn't make it. Odds no, are Captain menace. Edwards I was on the menace. The menace. We did an inside shot because I'm going technically that captain never made it. Okay. He didn't make it to this. He didn't make it to the top. To mm -hmm. He was he was Errol murdered, L which goes back to our story. That a lot of people don't know yet because a lot of stuff hasn't been released. And then it's I think it's coming. There's a big huge backstory to all cap all three captains and Adam. Now we're at Friar's like, I'm just drinking. I'm drinking. Uh, I'm drinking. I, okay, now I'm jumping. <laughs> I feel like Friar just kind of designed it. You know what? I'm just gonna, uh, I got my gift card. Is it from I'm just going to hang out and have some laughs. Like, It'll be fun. Just be part yeah, of the crowd. The nope. And then right. it, I feel like at the very end, he's like, you right. know what? I'm going, I'm going to get on the boat. This is fun. I would like to be here for the next round. But he also, he was rolling dice. He said that I'm going to roll. Yeah. He said something like, I think it was odds or evens or something of that nature. Yeah. Odds, I don't do do anything. Even try to get on the boat. That was with Ida Red. He did that too? No. He made the decision to either go in the boat or not. And because he did, Ida Red got in the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am going to make this attempt. Oh, this is great. I'm going to put my fate in the hands of players who know if they help me. They are possibly doomed. So it's only it's only them three on the boat, right? No, there's, there's four. Eleven. That's not going to get you there. You kind of. It's with up, a stick. Take your mm -hmm. staff, put it at the end, at the edge of the boat by the handrail. I'll picture this in my head as I'm just Kick your feet out. lunging you out there. As as you can. Save me! Please. And they all grab me. Just kind of look and at each other. That's what you're back. saying. You're yeah. saving. Splash. Look at the look. Man, they, right, and they guys, always did that looking right at me. <laughs> yeah, they did. You couldn't look at me, I was on by. <laughs> just shaking, drinking coffee. They just like, stare me down and then put their character sheet with yeah, all the disdain they could yeah. muster. Now, as hard as I can. I'm just really trying to knock it over. Look, he's throwing, he's throwing barrels at the ship. Roll to hit the boat. Here we go again. Next one. I, uh, I crit the boat. Nat 20 the boat. Where does the, the, the barrel hit? It just lands right in the middle. <laughs> I think that puts This is another one of those moments like, ah, I didn't it. picture this. The barrel doesn't well, I just didn't have this plan. Have a so, it's, it's well, I, a, I mean, the reason why we have the model of him throwing the barrel is because we went back after we had it all filmed. And we're like, we need to make models for this, 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 and this. It was easier right, in the moment. 20, it was hard to have it planned. 20, but on that, if you're, if anyone's looking at the models, like, well, that model was things was because we got to do that afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if he's gonna throw a barrel <laughs> at this boat, Ooh. I'm gonna make a model for this barrel so at this boat. I think the only fair way to do this is to have a roll off. You get another, another roll. You should have made the uh, DC higher than this. Okay. I think yeah. you're like, Chuck roll one. No, 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 it was for the mast. Once again, this boat is in chaos. But well, what do you do? No, I made it an 18. Everybody's doing this number on the boat. But no, you said as long as you don't roll a critical down. one or a two or something like that, you stay on uh, the yeah. boat. Rolling. It's all, it all happens so fast. There are so many and things like going through my head. But you didn't a, know that the, someone's going to yeah, chop yeah. the Once mast of a ship down. I didn't think it could be done. Turns out. Turns out. It has HP, too. Yeah. You can just cleave it. Sure. I'll do that. Ida Red. Grab an oar and start rowing. Now we have two people rowing. Jethro. Oh, I love having Ida Red at the table. I'm towards the this rail to awesome. jump into the boat myself, doing whatever I need to do to get there. She, was, if I can, she just consistently played her character. Down, she wasn't trying to make hard, life hard for me. We are back to where we were a moment ago. We have to Once worry about any sort of nudity rules like Seamus. Yeah, he was flipping upside down. Mm -hmm. Jethro. She just uh, stayed a constant we character, played her character, didn't rail. cause me any trouble. Hans, Flip, <laughs> Seamus, and Jim. Well, she was a lifesaver. Look at each other. Mm -hmm. and... no, I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> Not again. This one's got a weapon. Um, if you want to start us out with your athletics or So his name's Jethro. It's 10. Then he has a Jethro tall shirt mm -hmm. on. Flip. Is Justice going to be served? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, he's in a Jethro tall. No, 25. Oh, yeah, that's oh no! You feel I mean, miserable sitting on a park bench. But you're I like that though. Yeah. <laughs> you feel so bad. That kind of. Stick. I'll be sad. Okay, Seamus. Plus five, 23. Stop it! Oh yes! 
This this devolved into madness pretty quick. So yeah, yeah. You know what I really like about access? Over the like they're all in it when it's happy, hard. but then when the roll in is nervous, their accent just goes up twenty three. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like Scottish all the way up to that. It's like twenty three. Yeah, they get real, those real tense moments when they yeah, can't focus accent, on. Yeah, accent goes off. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. <laughs> okay, Friar. I don't know who to trust. I hate y'all. I've been <laughs> drinking a little bit, so I, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna Here run goes. the there mask is. where that rope that I I slid oh, down brilliant. was. I'm gonna dash towards it, grab that rope, and try to swing hey, out. Freaking Tarzan. And try to launch myself that's, into that's the That's me boat. scratching my head because I'm confused. <laughs> then you're like, wait. This is gonna be a. I'm gonna have to kind of yeah. make a judgment call on this check. Cause that's that's gonna be higher than a DC 10. Oh yeah. Um, so it's acrobatics you're check. You're um, I'm using my inspiration, <laughs> my liquid inspiration. Liquid inspiration. So, this is the kind of thing. He's gonna do what I think he's doing. He's just swinging situations on swinging the rope to try and swing into the I love it. Saw I'm gonna set this DC at 18. This sounds like a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I laughed and I laughed. Oh, yeah. So, I've got a 16 yeah. plus 5. So, he made his 18 DC. So, you were. Do you, do you say anything during this Tarzan moment? I love I it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Freaking brilliant. Man. Okay. Oh, and that's so, where Ralph took the, I mean, you just, the flip. So you started yeah. this show. But, so. 14. Uh, 21. Ooh, net 20. That's 25. It did get to a point where like, man, I kind of hope this Friar guy Seven. makes it Ooh. because uh, 13 for 18, he's Academy. entertaining. Yeah, he he's very entertaining. No, oh, there was a, there was a, it, I mean, during the course of this whole process, we had so yeah, many entertaining maybe, moments. Mm -hmm. And then well, even people that didn't started, talk much, or didn't, you know, wasn't, the they just kind of stayed in the shadows a little bit, just like, listen, I'm just here to survive kind of thing. When they, when they died, <laughs> the look on their face made up for everything not well, saying. Because it was, it was I, we I have a look like that I was going to be like subsequently killing someone like, trying to save myself, and I felt like super bad about it. <laughs> and then another person died, and then it ended up with me facing the same fate. So you know what? I'm okay with it, and uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anyone that, that might have hurt. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. All right, so you guys are so, drinking. All right, sixty feet away from the boat. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nobody. When we made him, we made. I think he's got as far. Up to now, he's got eight poses, and seven of them he has whiskey in his hand. No, he's got like a, he's got over a dozen because he does so many unique things. He's got over a dozen poses. Does he really? I think he's got five where he's drinking. Math to sixty feet tall, right? Does he really? Yeah. Math to sixty feet tall. Well, I know he's standing, drinking, sitting, drinking, leaning, drinking, uh, laying, drinking, mass, jumping, drinking. With your great one, he's kicking, drinking at the mast. But we haven't even got to the cave yet. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Oh, it's fun. Ten points. Ten points. I can't wait to do this yeah, for the cave scene. Look, what a vicious mockery. They're literally making fun of e okay. he, he's casting vicious mockery on someone on the ship. I feel relatively comfortable can't to, do to their the face. To their face. Not to their me. like to their face oh, across Eric's the table. Well. Nana nana boo boo. Damn you to the hell, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably missed. Damn you to the hells, I to the wee child in the bottom and hold this and start rowing. Boat one. And boat two. And I laugh and I laugh. Away from the ship. I guess they're both 60 feet away from the ship. So this turned out so good I'm where it was uh, it's mostly frustrating the ocean because I really under the boat. Mm -hmm. I mean, we wanted to keep models. It was very yeah, important tried, to us from the get. I was I like, the okay. I really want to do these models. And, and <laughs> Rusko's an amazing Double model damage. maker. So you got 25, so you're two away. Oh, I'm still raging. And because I attacked the mask twice. I didn't even know I could do it. I've never damage. done it before. Yeah, but I mean, it turned out you were. Now, the, the, now the problem was, that happening? is one thing this we were like, dude, Michael anywhere we can add, department, by the way. Um, with his rage, he did exactly the anywhere we can add like some kind of, down. not animation, you just walk up and but movement. Mm -hmm. and you uh, just we wanted to move with the camera like to keep a, it like busy, so it wasn't static. So, you know, and starts to fall. Like later on, there's birds in the background. There's there's stuff. Out, there's a fire in one. Hits the boat. You know, but Gamma really blew it out of the water with this, with the water. <laughs> to do, 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 you know, because it, it's like a three, a three. Is it green screen? That we don't know green screen. Boat, we didn't know any of that stuff. I mean, we we tried it. We uh, failed. Oh, failed miserably. Um, well, we set all this up. I mean, I don't even know if people know that. Like we. 
Dex we bought all these cameras, the didn't know how to use them. Webcams, didn't know how to use them. We had microphones. Jim, really, we had a uh, uh, hire a sound uh, guy to, to run it. Yeah, um, I rolled, I rolled the you know, I was going to edit all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it came to me in these giant the bulks. So now, I, I edited very, a Christmas movie once for my family, you know, from like home videos on on. What is it, iMovie? Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude, messing. it's iMovie. I'll just get uh, the next one up. The was it Final Cut? I'll just get Final Cut Pro. It's got to be the same. It's pretty easy. Those of you are still on the ship. And the I did. I, just we were. I was down. 15 ship, minutes in, downloading the same fate. 25 yeah, hours of footage. Together to make a raft. Using this and yeah, and called Russ. Was like, uh, never gonna happen. People go to school for this, I, or they got a natural talent, I or the it's they're not me. I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah. That's when we, that's when we're like, all right, well, what do we do? And uh, so we googled it. We googled it. We googled it and called the first editing company that came up. Both turns out robots are now. I believe. Winged it. Man, this was hard. Wow. Yeah, all three of them going down. Well, I just. The wave is going. Yeah, like, at what point do you look at him and say, "Listen, you're dead." I mean, you literally just. I'm literally putting it off. I, I am putting it off right here. I'm trying to. Look, Grand Anvil's hammer. Yeah. He knew. He knows the the band. But in that moment, I, I was like, I was, I was hoping like somebody put the halfling in the barrel, put the halfling in the barrel, but. I love that shot too. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you made I actually it took one of the boats and shattered it to uh, pieces after spending so hours and hours painting it. And, um, I should have probably just tried to kill him instead, but you know, uh, I've learned to uh, learn to see another day, and uh, we'll we'll give it another shot next season. Why do you think you survived more so than others? Um, He's good in the interviews. Probably luck in this case. Yeah, oh, dude, uh, I'm in flip. Yeah, fun, they're all good. They're all good. Yeah, yeah, they're all good. I mean, it's it's the these people. Me. I'll see you next time, and hopefully we can. And I hope someday Seamus writes a poem. You know he's got a poem. You know there's a poem coming. I do know there's a poem. All right, all right. That was which one? That was the expedition. That was the expedition. That was the expedition. Thank you for joining us. 